What's up, YouTube? So today, I'm in here. I'm going to be working on this countertop later in the afternoon, depending upon if I can get this countertop completed, which this one should go down fairly easily, I think. Let me flip the camera. Okay, this countertop over here, we bought the one piece thing at Home Depot. So really all I have to do is cut it to length and uh, put some end caps on it. So I'm not gonna use those Formica end caps they have. I'm gonna put a nice hardwood end cap on this end. And I think on this end down here, <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a piece of stainless or aluminum either one probably aluminum because I could actually router that but anyways the only difficulty here is I'm gonna have to cut this trim up a little bit but that's my plan for the day is to get this one installed and then once I get that one installed I can come back to work on this guy so if I can get this side done I know Shelly will be happy because she won't have these temporary cracks and seams that are everywhere while we were figuring out how big it was going to be. So that's the plan, YouTube. Let's get her done today. <laughs> Hey guys, it's exciting. We're going to do a test fit. He should be showing up. Huh. 
Thanks. You are welcome. I wish they come. I'm going to get that door open. Man, it is hot out there. It is. Gotta love our AC, man. Uh, even this thing's pretty heavy. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, that zebra wood on the end is just, it's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, and then it'll tie into the sink. And, uh, He's talking about the other side over there. So all I got to do is get the shaky tool and cut that out of the way. Oh, just that wee little bit right there. Yeah, then it'll Go slide. figure. It'll slide right in. What's up, YouTube? It's casual Saturday. <laughs> I thought today was Thursday. <laughs> My brain has what I call bus blur going on. Bus blur. <laughs> That's why you need me, baby. You need me to keep you on track. Right. Totally. We have so many uh, loose ends flopping around here. It's unbelievable, YouTube. Oh, yeah. We got a little of this done, a little of that done. The plumbing underneath is almost there. But the gray tanks aren't up, but they're ready to go up. The shower stall is ready to go in, but we got to get the plumbing in the wall before that goes in. The vanity came in for the bedroom, whatever you want to call it. The bathroom vanity. The bathroom vanity came in. It's ready to be plumbed. Now we know where to put the holes for that. The kitchen sink countertop is 80% finished, but maybe I need to sand it and give it one more coat. Uh, the countertop here, that countertop, is the end cap for it's ready to put on and then i need to anchor it down to the cabinets so of all the projects that we have going on that countertop seems like the one i can kick out in an hour or two and feel like i finished something so <laughs> i'm gonna work on that today so that guy's just been sitting there because this isn't like a house construction I'm going to put uh, cleats on here and I'm going to anchor these two cabinets together and then screw from the cleats up into the top of it, up underneath the counter. That way the countertop will be uh, still be removable. So these are super easy to get out. There, now I can get in there and put my stuff in. Okay, I cut some filler strips to go in here. And I was worried about them falling down, but they fit so good. Maybe this side will too. Yeah. So, that's cool. Now, I'm just going to bolt these guys on like that. And then screw up into the top from the underneath side. Okay guys, this is, here's a reality check. Here's all my stuff that was in the way over there is moved over here. There's where I'm trying to work. The kitchen drawer is back there on the bed. The countertop is oh. over here on the sofa. And Shelly's trying to figure out how she can do what she wants to do today. What are you going to do? Well, I was going to work on um, editing some videos and getting some more posted. So I think I'll go back to the bedroom. Yeah, it's a little crowded up here. A little crowded up here. <laughs> I can hi hibernate in the bedroom. The AC is really working back there good. So I put that just down below the surface just a little bit so it can pull down on that top. Oh, 
Okay, guys, here's the grim reality of construction in the bus. <laughs> Gets a little gritty sometimes. Now, we got to come back and clean this up, but it's it's hard to get something done to the point where you can start using it and not use it, but then when you use it, and now you have to continue on to do more stuff, you get these little messes like this that, you know, I mean, this is pretty unavoidable, but I'll just go in with the shop vac and clean it up. Or maybe she will. Yeah, who will go clean it up? <laughs> hey, I keep the filter and the vacuum cleaner clean for you. There's the end cap on that. On this end that goes up by the stove, I had Shelly seal that with a couple of coats of latex paint. But originally, I thought I should put a piece of stainless along here to protect it from anything that drips over. And I'm just being lazy by not doing that. So I saw a piece of scrap on the floor that pretty much that size. So. I'm gonna put that on before we do the final install here. Okay guys, here's the end cap for that. So if you're messing with this pre-made countertop and you're gonna put a screw in there, you, make, you could real easily bulge that. So I pre-drilled that hole, just giving you the heads up there. So I'm not just running this screw in there. So I kept that down a little bit so it won't, ah shoot, it's fat on the front though. I'm gonna have to go take that off. But that's okay. So I'll go grind that off and then come back and put the rest of the screws in it. Okay guys, hopefully, uh, let me show you that end before I drop it over. So there's that end now. See, it's all protected by the stainless steel. It's got a nice little hem under there so it's not sharp. So hopefully I can just slide him into position and put the screws in from underneath. I'm gonna do the front first. Okay. It's up tight against the wall, right? Okay, yeah, it's up tight against the wall. Nice and cool down here. Are you comfortable? Uh, I'm done. That job is done. I'm that happy job is I'm done? Good. It looks amazing. I don't think that sucker's going anywhere. Look at how many, yeah, look at how many screws I dropped working I, upside down. I know, and I Plus even, you already picked some I up. I even picked some up for him. <laughs> it was raining screws in there, man. <laughs> Oh, baby, that looks beautiful. Okay, guys, we have this all in place and locked down. And Randy even took the extra and made a temporary top for over here until we get our base down. So we're going to just go ahead and end the video here and know that we love sharing the journey with you guys. And we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.